All right, game three of Stuff for Smokes. Smokes has gone back to a 779 for his must use a 77. Stuff has stayed consistent on the hand. Now, Smokes found an interesting way to attack the hand with an 8 to the right last game, but his hand is not set to be able to repeat that because Stuff hands are guaranteed to have nines in at most three directions, which means one direction's missing which means an 8 has the potential to have real power, which both players showed last game, and I think is maybe one of the most interesting features of this rule set, is there's going to be one direction in which 8s are tough to take. Now, 9s are tough to take in that direction too, but if you look at the cards, like 8, 7, 6, 5s, 9, 9, 4, 3s, 8, 8, 7s, there's a lot of 1 gaps, meaning there's a lot of ways to pick off 9s, but there's a far fewer 2 gaps. Right, there's far fewer ways to pick off eights. Um, so Smokes has started in seven again. So if you look at trying to like counterhand someone, making sure you have an eight, and if you look at the hands, like you have four eights in the hand at least, right? A minimum of four eights in the hand, right? An eight seven six five has an eight. An 8-8 eight eight has two 8s, and a 9-8 eight has an 8. So you have four 8s in the hand. Doesn't mean they'll be in each different direction, but there's a pretty good chance you have an 8 in a direction they have trouble taking. And I think maybe a lot of this set is going to revolve around who can make difficulties for the other person with the 8s they have trouble taking. That's my thought. The other thought was at the end of the last video I was talking about, and I'd like to continue this because I'm curious if anyone has any thoughts. Let's say you thought a match was 50-50, and you see the first game, and let's assume it was a tie, but one player got a clear advantage. How much do you change your expectation? Do you still think it's 50-50 and it was just one game? Do you think it's 50-50 still because you don't know necessarily who has what turn advantage is, and maybe they had first turn, and you think maybe first turn is advantaged on this set. Um, I have to respond to a message. But maybe you think first turn is advantaged on this set, right? And if so, uh, then them getting some advantage on first turn is not, you know, surprising, right? And maybe it doesn't change your evaluation at all. You're like, wait until I've seen them on both turns before I before I change. But maybe you think like, okay, they got a clear advantage. I, I think they played better. Maybe they're in better form. Maybe they have a better feel for this rule set specifically. Maybe I am misestimating that they are equal players, right? There could be a bunch of things going on. Do you change your evaluation? Or I guess a third version of not changing it. One is a small sample. One is... Uh, not sure about turn advantages, uh, or that you think their hand just happened to catch the other person's hand. I guess that would be another one. And another is, it's a tie. Ties don't give information, right? Ties don't tell you about outplaying. I think that's wrong. Like, I, I don't agree with that last one. Uh, I think ties do give information. But I do wonder, you think someone was close to winning, but didn't quite get there. How much do you move the odds? Right? So it's 50-50. Is it now 55-45? Is it now 70-30? Like, is it a big swing? Is it a little swing? Let's say it's a little swing. Let's say it's like now 55-45. You see another game. They're on the other turn. They also get a big advantage and don't win. Now, I think the this was due to turn advantage one is kind of out of the question. Also, it's still, you know, two games is not a big sample, but like, it's not that small a sample either, right? Uh, tournaments have been won, you know, in not that many games won. Uh, for instance, Triad Wars four, 15, I think, I won in four games. I just won my first game each round. I don't think I played amazing or anything, but it just happened to work out that I won my first game. So, like, and I got a buy one round, so it was a four-round tournament for me, which is kind of, you know, a bummer. Like, four-round tournament wins are not the ideal, but I had stiff opposition. Um, so, does, you know, two games is half the sample that could conceivably win a tournament. Uh, you know, it's, it's not nothing. 
Um, so the small sample argument is getting weaker, may still be good, but is getting weaker. And then there's the argument that ties don't tell you anything, which I'm just going to say I think is wrong. And then maybe you think they had hand advantages that won't continue in future games. That could be still be the case. But I think at this point, the win probability should start moving. And what if you see like five or six games and every game player one has either had an advantage or it's been pretty balanced? And you thought it was 50-50 coming in. I, I think your odds should move towards player one. I, I don't know how much, and I'm curious how much people think if that's the case. Like imagine they played five games and in three of them, player one was obviously pressing. And in the other two, it was just obviously an easy draw. Easy tie for both players. Okay, we see another starter attack. I didn't talk much about the starter, um, but it again was a, something that stuff couldn't take. And so last time I talked about how, with face theory at least, but also how I tend to play, I tend to be an interactive player, um, you either kind of get rid of it by taking it immediately, or you set up against it in five or nine, but it is in general hard to set up in five or nine because... It's just hard to set up in a world without without plus, right? It's like the Simpsons episode with a world without zinc. You know, why? I want my zinc. Um, Tommy should never have wished, I think it's Tommy, for a world without zinc. So four is my instinct. And we'll notice that Stuff used his card for four that has the least total power. Though it does have some power facing the action. And now Smokes is a choice. And I was going to say, I think he's going to go with 1789 because 9934 gives stuff an easy move in 9 himself after Smokes goes 8 with a 7576 seven, and Smokes can't recapture. This is the one he can recapture. Now, the 9934 starts to strike me as a problem. That card may not be able to ever land in this game. So if you're stuck, you're going to end up sort of temporarily behind whatever happens in one sense, right? Let's say you go five. Let's say you go five. Smokes can go one or nine, and he will have locked in two cards before you've locked in anything. So in one sense, you're going to be behind. But in another sense, Smokes can't have used 9934 in either of those squares. And if you say, say you go five, Smokes goes nine, if you go 1 or 6, 9934 still has no good squares, right? It's not good in 1 itself because 4 is already uh, smokes and uh, stuffs and smokes won't flip it. And it just has no play anywhere. So, like, I think in general this kind of position favors first turn, right? First turn has recaptures everywhere they might need it. But I think 9934 being dead is just enough that stuff should actually not have too much trouble here. Um, so you could go five. I suspect you can also go one or nine. Um, probably not one. Doesn't look like you have a great card to put there. But let's say you went nine, three, four, eight, and nine. Again, my point is, Smokes kind of needs to go five, but his nine, nine, three, four can't go in five because it's comboed. And so that card, as long as that card remains dead, I don't think you can be in trouble. Um, so it looks like he's picked up 9348. And in fact, he may have some advantage here. This may be a difficult position for Smokes. This, I think, will be the first position where precision might be needed from Smokes to not lose. Now, it also might be that put any card in 5 that isn't 9934, and you easily tie. Right? Very possible. But, actually, yeah, it does feel that way, because stuff has no left power. So, like, 7, 6, 5, 8, and 5 is a little annoying for stuff. Right? That he just doesn't have a capture ever in 6 is a real problem and might oblige him to play one rather than having six as an option. I think he probably should play one. Now, he will have gotten seven, six, five, eight out of Smoke's hand, so four, nine, nine, three can now land in one, as can something like eight, seven, six, five. And nine, nine, three, four is still kind of dead, but not as dead, because nine, nine, three, four can land in six now. 
but 8187 is not a sufficient sweeper for that endgame. So I think this holds, but I think it's... I think it's more balanced than an advantage either way. But I don't know. That is my presumption. I'm expecting 7, 6, 5, 8, and 5 here. Note the funniest move there is 8, 7, 6, 5, and 3, setting up 2. Setting up 6 is pointless because Smokes wants to block 6 anyway. But if you set up 2, sometimes you don't need to set up 6 because if you get 2, that's so good. And if you get 6, that's just obviously a good square anyway. The problem is 6 isn't actually that good for you. It's not actually that good. Um, because 6, you can't actually take 5. So I think that ties, but it's a funny way to tie. Like 7, 6, 5, 8, 5, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, say smokes goes... 8, 1, 8, 7, 2. I think that should be the way. Because 9, 9, 3, 4, 2, you give up a plus wall. So 8, 1, 8, 7, 2. And what the hell's the score? I think it's a 6, 4, smokes. And stuff is a double capture in 1, but then smokes is a single capture in 6. He can flip 3. He hasn't actually flipped 3 yet. And if stuff goes six, he can't flip five. So I, I think that just leads to a tie, but it's a pretty entertaining tie. Yeah, this looks to me neutral. All right, Smokes goes for 8187, which I did not seriously consider, because I thought this gave options in both 1 and 6. But I guess it kills the options in 1, maybe. Yeah, it kills the options in 1, but it leaves open the options in 6, but it flips 4. So 9934 now can go in 1. It now is a home. Okay, I completely misevaluated this. My bad. Is this winning? I don't think so. I think you have to play maybe exactly 8, 7, 6, 5, and 6. Because my point is to meet 9, 9, 3, 4, and 1 with 7, 6, 5, 8, and 3. And miraculously, the 7, 6, 5, 8 flips nothing. Um, and you need a 6 to the left to do that. So 8, 7, 6, 5, and 6. I think just about does it. I think that ties, but yeah, this was closer than I thought, and I should have uh, evaluated it more seriously. Because um, one loses, right? You're already down 6-4. If you go one and don't flip and go down 7-3, it's over. One loses. Two is silly. Two is silly. I'm not going to think about two because it's silly. Three, there's no setups. So anything you put in three, smokes can go in six. And if he keeps 7, 6, 5, 8, he's just going to flip something at the end and he wins. Um, so I think, I think, I think 6 is the only tie. But I also think there's not, what else are you going to convince yourself ties? Right? Is, yeah, there's nothing else you're going to convince yourself ties. So I think this is not the kind of position that, that players screw up. We do get another tie. Again, if we were going to assign pressure somewhere, you'd have to say Smoke's got it. Right? You'd have to be like, this was another game where stuff had to be really careful. And Smoke's got to press again. Smokes is doing impressive stuff here. He's looking extremely comfortable. But of course, playing well and looking extremely comfortable does not get you the win. Yeah, 7, 6, 5, 8. Miraculously, nothing is taken at the end. All right, I'm going to pause the video and change location. All right, so relevantly, a certain stuff has criticized the volume on my videos. 
if the volume is better now, please tell me that it is better when I record in my living room. If the volume is worse now, please tell me it is better when I record in the office room. Useful information. Not going to be very relevant because I'm going to be in a different location the next few months, but uh, useful to know. All right, let's pause again. But if the video, if the sound quality changed dramatically, uh, do let me know uh, because I have just gone from the office to the living room. And yeah, everyone likes better sound quality. Ah, they will not be continuing today, therefore thus ends the video. But do let me know about sound quality. I appreciate it.